Um, starting off with the, probably the most basic tool uh, everyone should be familiar with is the multimeter. Uh, I mean, this one that I have is just kind of like a really cheap one. I mean, I got this for like, I don't know, like five quid or so. Uh, you know, basic multimeter, you can do a lot of checks. You can measure volts. Uh, you can measure like the current in amps. You can measure like the resistance, you know, whatever you're going to be checking on a car, uh, depending on what the situation might be. Uh, you can do a continuity check. I mean, if you set it on there, and then as you can hear, like if I were to connect the ends at, uh, let's say, a fuse or anything particular like that, it would make a buzzing sound, as you can hear. That means, you know, the circuit is complete, and then, you know, the component is all right. Uh, just, I think, with you know, with this one, the buzzing sound isn't as, like, you know, high, especially when you're working in a... Uh, workshop they're asking that that's going to be like some noises so you know I, I would like it to be a little bit more noisy so i can hear it properly uh but you know that's just me personal preference um you know it's got like a little stand in the back as you can see you can just like place it like that to you know whatever position you're going to be working inside the car uh it's got backlight you know just in case it's dark you know different settings you know it all depends on how much you invest in a multimeter. Like I said, this is like a really budget one. Uh, but I can do like most of the jobs. Uh, nothing too complicated. And I think everyone, you know, in in the automotive industry, whether you like you specialize on electrical stuff or, you know, just, you just like, you know, mainly mechanical. And then every now and then you get like a electrical like uh, problem you have to deal with you know is a good tool to have in your do toolbox moving on uh, another tool that i would highly recommend getting is a probe tester this one i think it cost me like 18 20 pounds not really sure you know there are like probe testers out there with probably like a digital screen so you could see like the volts and measure other things as well this is kind of like a regular old school probe tester you got your positive and negative clamp where you connect to positive pole of the battery negative pole of the battery you got your little earth over there little clamping tool over there and then you got your probe tester you know whatever you're going to be testing most likely it's going to be like a motor whether it's like for power mirrors power windows uh maybe the motor for the heating or whatever the blower fan sorry about that you know you are going to be using this uh you can give it like positive or negative see which uh power it takes uh i mean before this i was kind of using like kind of like a dodgy method of like you know just connecting wires to a 12 volt battery and then putting them on not really the best idea i mean this is way easier you just plug this onto your battery the cable is about i don't know like two three meters so it's plenty of long you can get around the car no problem uh like i said basic tool this one works from like 6 to 24 volts you don't need to go crazy with this again again if you are going to specialize yeah you might want to get like a more expensive one i got i just got this basic one nothing too fancy just to like do the work i need to do um moving on from the probe tester uh i wasn't gonna like really mention this but it was kind of like my initial fuse tester uh, it was before when my budget was low uh, You know, this one is a pretty basic one As you can see, you got this kind of like Look-alike screwdriver over here You got the clamp tool over here So you find an earth And then, you know, just crimp that over there And then you just go through your fuses uh, If the fuse is alright You're going to see, like, you can see this bulb in here It's going to light up If the fuse, you know, is blown It's obviously not going to light up uh, you know, this is relatively inexpensive, uh, I don't know, like three to five pounds or so, you know, nothing too like complicated, just a basic fuse tester. Uh, you know, I got this in the beginning, I didn't have a multimeter or a probe tester, so I was like using this. But yeah, like, yeah, you, I mean, if you have a multimeter, you know, there's no need to get this. So, you know, because with a multimeter, you can do like a fuse check and a lot more things to do as well with this one just a fuse tester you know it's down to you if you really want to get this uh moving on uh, we're going to be talking about different types of pliers obviously uh, you know with every electrical stuff you're going to be working with the eye is going to be wiring 
uh, which you need a couple of wires, uh, you, which you need a couple of pliers, sorry about that. Um, you kind of like, you can use, I mean, the regular pliers, I mean, you know, cutters to cut a wire and then strip it. Although, like, sometimes, you know, you might strip some of the, like, bare wire as well. So it's kind of like, you know, might be a little bit dodgy. You know, as a crimper, you can use ball pliers. You know, I've done it a couple of times before. Uh, but, you know, you kind of, like, might squeeze it and then damage the wire as well. Neither knows, you know, there's just neither knows pliers. But mainly, I want to talk about uh, these two. This is a wire stripper, as you can see. Uh, you just place the wire over here and then basically just crimps it and then just strips the wire apart There is an adjust over here depending on the thickness of the wire So, you, you know, you strip just the plastic uh, cover on it and you know, not damage the wire from the inside It does have a, like a feature of uh, crimping uh, At the back so as you can see here at the bottom you can use it as a crimper uh, I mean, I mainly got this as a wire stripper. I didn't got it as a crimper because I got this. But yeah, this one, you know, it was about, I don't know, like 10 quid or something like that. Again, nothing too fancy. Although I did got a cheaper one, like I cheaped out on one that was like, I don't know, like three, four quid or something like that. And I used it like maybe like maximum four times. Then, you know, it, it broke on me. Uh, you know, it kind of like pissed me off, but I knew like I chipped out. So I got this, which is looks of a better quality uh, build tool. Uh, I've used it, feels solid. You know, you can get this as well in like, I don't know, like blue, yellow, depending on what color you want to get it. I got it in red, you know, that's personal preference. Uh, crimper pliers, I mean, you know, basic use. I mean, this one is kind of like the mechanical one which is like spring loaded you can get one that's like looks like this and then it's obviously it's got the head of this crimper uh i got this like spring loaded one uh i don't know just because my father had it and you know i've just used it it feels good it feels solid you know i just got this one just because of that uh like i said you can get like a basic one but I mean, I got this for like 10 quid, so it's not like a massive difference in price. Um, as you can see, you got, you know, the different uh, adjustments. You can use it for red, yellow and blue, depending on the thickness of the wire you're going to be connecting. Uh, nothing too fancy again, just in case if I do like need to rewire something because uh, the wire is kind of like messed up or whatever reason. Um, like I said, with these ones, I mean, obviously, you don't need to have, like, get these for electrical uh, issues. I mean, you use this daily, on a daily basis, you know, on mechanical stuff, whatever you're going to be doing. Uh, it's just these ones, you kind of like, uh, I, I prefer to have, like, one pair of these and one pair of these. Uh, as I mentioned, with the probe tester and the multimeter. Uh, so, overall, you'd be looking at price, I don't know, like, maybe, like, 10, 20 probe tester i don't know like another 20 on there so like that's like 40 quid and then if you depending on the multimeter you're gonna get let's say another 20 so probably like 50 60 quid you're kind of like covered on the electrical side if you know when you know whatever troubleshooting you're gonna be doing uh you know something basic not nothing expensive like you know really expensive because i don't specialize in electrical stuff mainly on mechanical but yeah, you do want to have like in your toolbox, um, you know, a couple of these tools because obviously cars, they use a lot of electronics nowadays. So yeah, you know, whatever sensor like doesn't like is broken or you get no readings or something like that, you will need like a multimeter or maybe like your window in working and then you need to check if the motor is working. Uh, probe tester, you, you know, is you're going to have to use that. So yeah. It really comes down to the individual how much they want to spend on the tools i just trying to like spend like a decent amount that's kind of like i get quality tools uh that can do the job and you know not too expensive but not like just uh really cheap made ones they're gonna break like you know on the fifth try uh that was the video guys i mean if you like the video drop a thumbs up if you have any comments uh, put like you know write them down below whether you got questions or you got like 
another tool that I haven't mentioned. I'm sure there's a lot of tools out there that I haven't mentioned. I just mentioned like these basic ones that I use. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.